Good morning, Christ the King, and welcome to worship on this fourth Sunday of Advent. It is wonderful to um, be together in this digital space with you. Today in our worship, we get to celebrate the Christmas story through our virtual Christmas pageant. And so different families from our congregation have um, filmed and prepared um, different portions of our virtual Christmas pageant, and Brittany has been working hard this week to stitch them all together um, to proclaim and to tell the Christmas story for our congregation this week. So um, we, I hope and pray that this um, will be a wonderful entrance for us into um, the Christmas season as we hear the Christmas story in this fun and creative way. As we uh, prepare our hearts and our minds for worship this morning. I want to um, remind you to grab whatever you need to make the space that you are in, the sacred, um, your sacred sanctuary space for this next 45 minutes to an hour. And to remind you that wherever you find yourself right now is sacred and holy, and God is present there with you. So I invite you to find your candles or your Advent wreath. And today, because it's the fourth Sunday in Advent, we get to light four candles. So I invite you to light those candles now. As we continue in our Advent journey this week of creating the pathway and honoring the pathway um, that we make in preparation for Christ's coming among us, we celebrate today the pathway we make in the whole world. And so as we light these four candles and illumine the pathway that sends us out on a journey through this world, we celebrate Christ's coming for all peoples of the earth. The words of the prophet Isaiah announce, sing to the Lord a new song. Sing God's praise from the ends of the earth. And in Revelation, we foresee a great multitude that no one could count from every nation, from all tribes and peoples and languages, praising the victory of Christ. Light and love of Christ, grant understanding and peace between the earth's peoples and guide us on your pathway again. Do 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 Creator of the stars of night your people's everlasting light. O Christ, Redeemer of us all, we pray you hear us when we call. When this old world drew on toward night, you came but not in splendor bright. Not as a monarch, but the child of Mary, blessed Mother Mark. At your great name, O oh Jesus, now all knees must bend, all hearts must bow, all things on earth with one accord. Like those in heaven shall call you Lord. To God the Father, God the Son, and God the Spirit, three in one, praise, honor, might, and glory be from age to age eternally. The grace of our Savior, Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Let us pray together. Stir up your power, Lord Christ, and come. 
with your abundant grace and might, free us from the sin that would obstruct your mercy, that willingly we may bear your redeeming love to all the world. For you live and reign with the Father and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Hello! Welcome to our virtual Christmas pageant. This year, our kids put on a pageant called Do Not Be Afraid from the Illustrated Ministries Company. Enjoy with us, sing along with all of the songs, applaud where there should be applause, and laugh where there should be laughter, and cry where there should be crying. I hope you all enjoy and let's bring on the show. There's no place like home for the holidays. Oh, there's no place like home for the holidays. Cause no matter how far away you roam, when you pine for the sunshine of our friendly gaze, for the holidays you can't be home sweet home. A home that knows your joy and laughter filled with memories by the score is a home you're glad to welcome with your heart. From California to New England down to Dixie's sunny shore, from Atlantic to Pacific, gee, the traffic is terrific. Oh, there's no place like home for the holidays, cause no matter how far away you roam, if you want to be happy in a million ways, for the holidays you can't be home sweet home. And they all lived happily ever after. The end. That was a good one. All right, Mabel, lay down. Time to go to bed. Lay down. Wait a minute, Mom. Don't leave yet. Can you stay a little longer? What's going on? Aren't you, you need to get some sleep. I'm scared. And now I'm thinking about all the things I'm afraid of. Like what? Well... Let's see where Eat, dark, fire, ghost, knife, mold, questions, spiders, viruses, worms, x-rays, and zoom. Wow. Did you just put all your fears in alphabet order? Well, I can relate. I feel afraid sometimes. So how do I feel better right now? Well, I can't sleep when I'm scared. Well, there's stories to help. I'm going to make it one. Or, when I'm scared or worrying, I remember that I'm a part of a bigger story myself. And God's story is full of people who are afraid. You know, I think I have time to tell you one more story. And this part of God's story is during a time when people were afraid of many things, just like us. It all begins in Nazareth, in a town of Galilee, with a woman named Mary. Oh, hi. Uh... This is my home. Welcome to my home. Uh, do you want to talk to me? I don't... 
uh, I don't think we've met before, have we? Do you, do you want to hear what I have to say? I do! Oh, uh, pardon me. Uh, let me start over. Uh, greetings, favored one. It is me, the Angel Gabriel. God is with you. Um, what kind of a greeting is that? Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God, and now you're going to have a baby, and you will name him Jesus. He will be great, and will be called the Son of the Most High, and his kingdom will have no end. But how can this be? How is this going to happen? The Holy Spirit will come upon you and the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore the child to be born will be holy. He will be called the Son of God. Also your relative Elizabeth is going to have a baby even though people thought it would be impossible. But nothing is impossible with God. Was all of that a question? Oh, um... Well, are you asking me if I want to do this? Oh, uh, good question. Um, uh, yes. Hmm. Here I am. The servant of the Lord, let it be with me according to this message. I need to see Elizabeth. Elizabeth, are you home? I'm coming in. Come on in, Mary. Mary! I have something to tell you. You are so blessed among women, and the baby in your womb is also blessed. The moment the sound of your greeting entered my ears, the baby in my womb leapt for joy. Here, feel it. Elizabeth, I'm also bursting with good news. God took one good look at me, and look what happened. I'm the most blessed woman on earth. What God has done for me will never be forgotten. I'm talking about the God who knocked the powerful off the thrones and lifted up the lowly. So, uh, can't stay with you for a few months. Oh, come, oh, come, Emmanuel, and ransom captive Israel. That mourns in lonely exile here Until the Son of God appear Rejoice, rejoice, Emmanuel Shall come to you That's not good. Not good at all. She claims that this child 
that she carries around is actually God's child. My only option is to marry her and divorce her quietly. My reputation will be saved at least. <sighs> but she will be disgraced. I don't know what to do, and I'm afraid. Oh, Mary. Joseph, don't be afraid to get married. God's Holy Spirit made Mary pregnant, and you will have a son, and you will name him Jesus. God will save his people from their sins. I'm going to marry Mary. I'm going to have a son named Jesus. I'm going to be a dad. Oh, I need to pack. On, I have questions. Why? Is Joseph packing a bag? Do angels still, still visit people in dreams? Why is everyone making such such a big deal? about this it's just a baby this story is so weird i yeah don't i know i don't know the answers to most of these questions this is bigger than life than kind of story and there are a lot of unexplained and miracle parts wait that uh, sounds like what Pastor Rory <laughs> says when I ask some okay, tough questions. Good. I'm glad I sound like Pastor Rory because we just don't have all the answers. Now, I do know the answer to one of those questions. Why is Joseph packing? To understand that, we need to go to the emperor. Okay. Citizens of Rome, it is I, your Lord and Savior, Good Shepherd, Light, Way, and Prince of Peace, Caesar Augustus. First, I want to say, you're welcome for all the great things I've done for you. There has never been an emperor as powerful and as glorious as me. My empire is vast. You people are obedient. I am saving all of you. And you owe me so much. So much. Citizens, I want to count you. <clears throat> Let's get a good head count so that you can all pay me what I am owed. Go to your hometown and register your family so that you can show proper appreciation of my awesomeness. I decree it to be so. Farewell, my faithful children. May you know my magnificent ways. Farewell! <laughs> Okay, the good news is, I think I found us a place to stay. Finally, this baby is not going to wait much longer. Where are we going to stay? Oh, did you get a room at the nice and I like? The one with the good breakfast? Um, not exactly. It was full. Oh no, what are we going to do? Sleep outside with the shepherds? Stay in a stable with donkeys? What? No, who would do that? Joseph, this baby is coming soon. I know, I know.
The guest rooms are full, but I found an innkeeper who will let us stay in a small space in his house. Oh, good. Yeah, it's a nice space. Lots of hay. Maybe a few animals. All right, let's do this. Hey, stop there. What? Why? I don't think I want to hear about the birth part. Hmm, okay. We can talk about that later. The Bible doesn't actually say anything about the birth anyway. It just says that Mary had the baby and wrapped him in the strips of cloth and put him in a feeding trough. That's it. But those are important details to remember for the next part of the story. It takes place in a field. Okay, keep going. There were shepherds living outside in the field nearby, watching over their sheep. Yeah. They were about to be frightened by some powerful messengers from God. But they would soon realize they did not have to be afraid. What child is this who laid to rest on Mary's lap? is sleeping whom angels greet with anthems sweet whom shepherds watch are keeping this this is christ the king whom shepherds guard and angels sing haste haste to bring him lord the babe the son of Mary. So bring him incense, gold, and mirror. Come, peasant king, to love him. The kings of kings salvation brings. Let loving hearts enthrone him. This, this is Christ the King, whom shepherds guard and angels sing. Haste, haste to bring him praise, the babe, the son of Mary. This, this is Christ the King, whom shepherds guard and angels sing. Haste, haste to bring him praise, the babe, the son of Mary. Raise Raise the song on high, the virgin sings her lullaby. Joy, joy, for Christ is born, the babe, the son of Mary. Glory to God in the highest! Ahem. Ahem. Glory to God! Glory to God! Hello? Is this thing even on? Are you people even listening? Do not be afraid. I bring you good news that will cause great joy for all the people. Today in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign for you. You will find a baby wrapped in cloths and lying in a manger.
That is all. Goodbye. So, you both saw that, right? Yeah. Yes, I did. Bah! Yeah, that happened. Bah! Well, we're going, right? Yes, we are going. We have to go. Do we bring the sheep? I think we do. Bah, bah, take it with you. What were those signs again? A baby. What in such a fluff lying in a manger? Bah. We won't forget. Let's go. You too, sheep. Come on. Later. Whoa, that was a miracle. It was exactly how the angels had described. The baby was wrapped in claws and lying in a manger. <clears throat> Friends, we have seen something truly amazing tonight. I don't know about you, but it seems like the world is changing. But what do you think we've got to see it? No one cares about us shepherds. We're poor and don't have very much power. I have no idea, but the baby's mother, Mary, acted like this is exactly what was supposed to happen. Like it was meant for people like us. Mm -hmm. Maybe the baby will lift up the lowly. I bring down the lofty. Wouldn't that be something? It sure would. I believe there is no limit to what this baby can do. Hey, shepherds. Was that star there last night? I don't think I've ever seen that one before. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. Joy to the world. Welcome to our observatory. We are the wise men. Wise people. The magi. We are really more like scientists. Astronomers. We study the stars. We study the stars so well that when something changes, we know immediately. And we just noticed a new star. We must follow the scientific instincts and find out why there is a new star in the sky. We now begin our journey. Are we there yet? You literally just asked that. Now? Hmm, looks like we're here. Here it is, Bethlehem. Let's look up the local king so we can get some more information. Did somebody say king? That would be me. I'm the big cheese around here. Everybody is talking about it. They all say that I'm a powerful king, the best king that Bethlehem has ever seen. We got it, best king ever. So, we are here because we are looking for a newly born king. king. The child born king of the Jews. We observed his star at the, at the rising. <laughs> and we have come to honor him. Ah, uh, would you uh, excuse me for a moment? I, I need to make a call. Yeah, put me through uh, to the smart people 
so that I can find out what's really going on and we can do our research. I invite you to walk with me. I'll meet you back over um, where my throne is um, instead of being out here uh, in the in the streets together. Um, hi, hi, wise folks. Um, sorry, I hope you didn't recognize me. I decided it was too cold. I needed to put my, my king robe on. Um, so yeah, this is great. Go on and uh, find that child and um, pay him honor. And then get back to me about this so I, I too can honor him because I'm the local king, Herod, in case you didn't know and we are in Bethlehem. Um, so come back to me and let me know. Bye! Uh, sure. Okay. We can do that. Let's get out of here. When we left King Herod, he decided to sit around and be jealous and plan the revenge. He was feeling threatened that there was another king people were excited to meet. But we found Jesus and brought gifts to this special child. We brought gold, frankincense, and myrrh. Usually these gifts are reserved for royalty. Powerful people, grown <laughs> men and women. But well, we brought these gifts to the tiny, weak, oppressed child. Even though we didn't know exactly what was going on, we knew he was important. This good news would turn everything upside down. Oh, and by the way, we didn't return to that wicked King Herod. Nope, no way. We were warned in a dream to take a different way home. You might say we took the scenic route. And now we return to watching the stars. Do you hear what I hear? Do you hear what I hear? Said the night wind to the little lamb. Said the night wind to the little lamb. Do you see what I see? Do you see what I see? Way up in the sky, little lamb. Way up in the sky, little lamb. Do you see what I see? Do you see what I see? A star, a star, dancing in the night. A star, a star, dancing in the night. With a tail as big as a kite. With a tail as big as a kite. With a tail as big as a kite. With a tail with a tail as big as a kite said the little lamb to the shepherd boy said the little lamb to the shepherd boy do you hear what i hear do you hear what i hear ringing through the sky shepherd boy ringing through the sky shepherd boy do you hear what I hear? Do you hear what I hear? A song, a song, a high above the trees. A song, a song, high above the trees. With a voice as big as the sea. 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 Said the shepherd boy to the mighty king. Said the shepherd boy to the mighty king. Do you know what I know? Do you know what I know? In your palace warm, mighty king. In your warm palace, mighty king. Do you know what I know? Do you know what I know? A child, a child, a shivers in the cold. A child, a child, shivers in the cold. Let us bring him silver and gold. Let us bring him silver and gold. Let us bring him silver and gold. Let us bring him silver and gold, said the king to the people everywhere. 
said the king to the people everywhere. Listen to what I say. Listen to what I say. Pray for peace, people everywhere. Pray for peace, people everywhere. Listen to what I say. Listen to what I say. The child, the child, sleeping in the night. The child, the child, sleeping in the night. He will bring us goodness and light. 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 Through? Okay, those? Wines? People were really brave. E, V, they honored the king God had chose Ur Al brought him presents. Disobeyed the rules of King. My soul magnifies the Lord, and my spirit rejoices in God, my Savior. For you, God, have looked with favor on the lowliness of your servant. Surely from now on, all generations will call me blessed. For you, the Mighty One, have done great things for me, and holy is your name. Your mercy is for those who fear God from generation to generation. You, O oh God, have shown strength with your arms. You have scattered the proud in the thoughts of their hearts. You, God, have brought down the powerful from their thrones and lifted up the holy. You have filled the hungry with good things and sent the rich away empty. You have helped your servant Israel in remembrance of your mercy, according to the promises you made to our ancestors, to Abraham and Sarah, and to their descendants forever. Go tell it on the mountain, over the hills and everywhere. Go tell it on the mountain that Jesus Christ is born.
us join together in confessing the story of our faith using the words of our creed for Advent. We believe in God, robed in splendor, veiled in mystery, ruler alike of darkness and light. We encounter God in Jesus Christ, who was tested and put to death, but whose radiance could not be quenched, whose touch brings a blaze of color to a dull, drab world, reviving the weary, healing the wounded, unsettling the satisfied. We walk with God, guided by God's loving spirit through places of cool shadow and burning flame in our hearts and out of them into truth and life. We wait for God and for the fulfillment of God's promises, for the time when the world will hold no fear and the spirit of life will show the way and creation will be made whole once more and God's peace will reign forever. Amen. Uh, now is the time in our worship where I get to say thank you for your continued um, generosity of God's abundance in this place. Um, it is the time in our worship service where we get to continue with that generosity and the sharing of our tithes and our offerings. Um, we know that you share your gifts with Christ the King in many ways, including um, your acting and singing skills this afternoon or this morning that we heard. Um, and we, we give thanks that you continue to also share financially with this congregation. As you know, we have just wrapped up our stewardship um, campaign for this year, and as our council is working hard to um, prepare a balanced budget for 2021, I just wanted to make sure to encourage you to get your pledges for 2021 um, into Jane or the church office um, as soon as possible if you have not done so yet, um, so that we have a good sense of what um, resources we have to be working with to do ministry um, in the coming year. So you can give um, also, now is the time to share those times and offerings with our community. You can give those through um, mobile giving. You can text the word give to 320-313-1815, or you can give by mail or on our website. Um, I pray that you enjoy um, the musical offering I was privileged to share with you all today. Um, as we have some time to give our offering.
On this fourth Sunday of Advent, let us pray that God come quickly to this weary world, responding to each petition with these words, come and save us soon. O God, Emmanuel, we pray, be with us. Bless our national church, the ELCA, our own congregation, Christ the King, and especially our young people who have brought us the Christmas story once again this year. Bless also our neighbors of other lands, denominations, and faiths. Strengthened by your presence, make us supports for one another in love as together serve those in need. Hear our prayer, O God. Come and save us soon. O God, the wisdom of the world, as tomorrow the earth's north, tilts back towards the sun. Preserve vegetation and wild animals during the winter. Form us into a people who honor your creation. Make of our decorated Christmas trees signs of our thankfulness for the earth. Hear our prayer, O God. Come and save us soon. O God, King of nations, bring peace and justice to the countries of the world. Lead the nations of the Middle East towards peace with one another and justice for the Palestinians. Guide our elected leaders towards honest and compassionate policies that serve all the people preserve our nation from discord and violence. Hear our prayer, O God. Come and save us soon. O God, key of David, look with mercy on all who are locked into despair, who fear the darkness, who live brokenhearted. Open windows of those who are isolated. We give you thanks for the pardon and release of Mayan Burrell. Abide with all who remain incarcerated. Give shelter to the homeless and the refugees. Hear our prayer, O God. Come and save us soon. O God, root of Jesse, nurture our community. Connect us with one another across all barriers and bring an end to historic prejudices. Bless the work of food pantries, relief agencies, and our Wednesday night meal. Inspire our holidays with your spirit of benevolence. Hear our prayer, O God. Come and save us soon. O God, ruler of might, Send your healing power to all in bodily need. Curb the coronavirus and strengthen medical workers. For those with COVID-19, we pray, guide all the World Health Organizations and governmental officials in the distribution of the vaccines and calm the fears of those who are reluctant to receive the vaccine. Bring pregnant women into successful births. We pray especially for Mike and Marianne Vogel and their family at the death of Mike's mom, Elaine. We have continuing prayers for Lori, Lois, Steve, Jim, Jaden, Pastor Dave, Shar, Miriam, John, Laura, Tom, Sadie, Nora, Al, Jim, Phyllis, Kim, and Ted and Marilyn. We also have new prayers for Carol Trewartha. We have prayers for Sweet Floden and all who are homebound. We pray for Philip and Lou Marie Knudsen in South Africa, Reverend Dorcas Wang in China, and the Peace Center for the Blind in Jerusalem. We pray, pray also for the Global Health Ministries. Hear our prayer, O God, come and save us soon. O God, o God, day spring everlasting, 
we remember all who have died and now live in your light. Gather us to your, yourself when we join all the faithful of every time and land to sing Mary's hymn of praise. Hear our prayers, O God. Come and save us soon. We cannot thank you enough, O Emmanuel, for your ongoing presence among us. Remain with us and receive our prayers for the sake of Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. Let us pray together the prayer that our Lord Jesus has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, and thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Because he came to enter in our journey, because he broke the silence of our sorrow, because he filled the whole world with his glory and came to light the darkness of our morrow. Because he came, a stranger poor and lowly, because he lived proclaiming love and healing, because he opened hearts of hungry people and brought new life to all who would receive it. In hope we are forever celebrating, with courage in our struggle we are waiting, in trust and reassurance we are claiming, this is our song of freedom for all people. In hope we are forever celebrating, with courage in our struggles we are waiting, in trust and reassurance we are claiming this is our song. In hope we are forever celebrating with courage in our struggle we are waiting in trust and reassurance we are claiming this is our song of freedom for all people. In hope we are forever celebrating, with courage in our struggles we are waiting, in trust and reassurance we are claiming, this is our song. The creator of the stars, bless our advent waiting. The long expected savior, fill us with love. The unexpected spirit, guide our journey, now and forever. Amen. Go in peace and prepare the way of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Amen.